Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you my method for filming top-down videos and my planner videos. So if you're interested in hearing about some of the equipment that I've accumulated over the past few months, how I grew my channel, and how I film for YouTube, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Alright, so before we get right into it, I just wanted to share my personal story with you all. So if you're thinking about starting your own channel or you already started and you're thinking about investing in new equipment, this video is for you. My message to you is please do not be intimidated by any means by any of the things that I've accumulated because when I first started this channel just a few months ago, I actually started filming on my iPhone. All right, so when I first started my channel, like I said, I went as minimal as possible. I started with my iPhone and this really cheap tripod. This tripod I picked up off Amazon. It was less than $50. I think it's closer to $30. And it comes with the cell phone, um, I guess, clamp adapter on top here. And so I invested in that at first and just adjusted the legs so that I could film a top-down video. And I tried to use natural lighting from the windows um, in the front of my house as often as possible. Um, but when I don't have enough lighting, I like to play around with my um, ring light, which I'll talk about later. Soon after I started my channel, uh, my dear brother gifted me for Christmas um, this awesome blue Yeti microphone. I It changed all of my videos. I honest, If I'm being really honest, I received a lot of uh, complaints on my videos in the beginning using my iPhone about the audio quality and that it wasn't loud enough, that I wasn't either speaking loud enough, the gain wasn't loud enough. So my brother got ahead of the game, ahead of the comments and, and complaints and actually gifted this to me for Christmas along with this awesome pop filter and a stabilizer and arm to mount to my desk which is so important because sometimes I film standing up sometimes I'm filming plan with me from the desktop so it's very important to be able to adjust my microphone so after my dear brother gifted me uh, this microphone for Christmas, which I used the microphone with my tripod and my iPhone for the longest, um, in the winter, I actually invested in this awesome 18 inch dimmable ring light. So it includes both warm light and cool bright white light, which I wanted because I wasn't sure which one I would want. Sometimes I like the warmer lighting and sometimes I just want cool white. And I'm so glad that I did that because I wanted to add warmth to my videos using this um, natural wood desk as a background. And the bright white lighting actually doesn't work well with it. So I do still struggle to find a setting. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know maybe what you use, what you suggest. I just, I haven't done enough research. Um, so I try to use as much natural lighting as possible, but when I can't, I love to use this 18 inch ring light that actually came with another phone clamp. And this one has a lot more versatility when it comes to the ball attachment here. So it can turn and then the actual phone clamp portion itself can turn as well. So this last two items took me a really long time to invest in because they're quite expensive. Um, I just recently invested in this Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera and part of me wishes that I waited until Prime Day number one and waited just a little bit longer because Nikon just released I would say probably their equivalent or the competitor version of this camera. I'm hoping that it will definitely open me up to incorporating a lot of vlogging into my plan with me and or flip through videos, I'm trying to add a different dimension and experience to my content. And so I'm overall very happy with this camera. It came with this like um, a microphone shoe, camera shoe, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's basically to help filter out some of the um, excess sound and wind. So I do appreciate that. It didn't come with a wrist band, which is really odd to me. So if you have any suggestions for that, uh, for a cute one, please feel free to include that in the comment section down below. What I especially love about this camera is that it has a flip out screen. It's also touch screen, which is amazing. And I just realized today that it turns on when you open the camera. 
um, for this, but it also turns. So if I were filming, let's say a like vlog, I can hold the camera. Um, oh, I also bought the tripod, so I'll, I'll include that too. But I can hold the tripod and have the camera facing me and also see myself. So that's what I love definitely about this camera. So I've had this camera for about a month. Love it very much for now. I can't really tell you too much about the Nikon comparison, but I'll link them both in the description box down below just in case you're interested if I can find it. Um, and then finally, the last addition to the family is this awesome boom arm, um, or it's, it's, I think that's what you call it, but basically how I attach my camera to the desk and film that top-down video. Alrighty friends, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my desk space and explanation of how I grew my channel, uh, some of the equipment that I used. Um, if you did, as always, I would so very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. It always helps me to get a better idea of what content you guys are looking for and what you enjoy and what I should focus on in the future. As always, thank you so very much for taking the time to watch my video today. And until next time, bye everyone.